Inside this box, you can't see it, but it's all in there is our diesel particulate filter. It's actually a two-piece compartment. Half of that is a diesel oxidation catalyst, and then the second half is a diesel particulate filter. So that's cleaning up all the exhausts, so what you see coming out of the exhaust stack is almost invisible. Right? So that's how we meet the emissions. Diesel particulate filter, diesel oxidation catalyst just before that. Now, as, as I said earlier, normal operating temperatures are going to elevate the temperature, the exhaust temperature, high enough to keep the diesel arm particulate filter cleaned off. What it's doing is catching that exhaust that's in the form of soot. Okay, there's sensors in there that are monitoring how much soot is in that filter after it reaches a certain level. And if, if for instance, you were idling the machine a long period of time, and weren't building enough exhaust temperature in it, then, and, it, and those sensors say, hey, my diesel particulate filter is starting to fill, then it activates this part right up here, which is the back pressure valve. That's right in the exhaust line. Normally, it's wide open. Normally, exhaust temperatures are going to keep that diesel particulate filter burned off and clean. If that doesn't happen, the machine is going to take action. The operator doesn't have to do anything but it starts to restrict the flow coming out of the engine exhaust. That restriction is going to elevate your temperatures and do exactly what normal operating temperatures would do, keep the diesel particulate filter burned off. We've designed a long life filter in there, so this should be something that during the first life of the machine, the operator never even knows is there. But the other thing we deliver with Tier 4 is greatly improved fuel efficiency. We go out and we work these machines in production trenching, uh, truck loading and we're pushing the machines and trying to find out the absolute capability of the machines. So in general we've seen about 15 to 20 percent improvement in fuel efficiency and that's looking at how many cubic yards of dirt can we excavate out of a trench for a gallon of fuel. You've probably seen in larger horsepowers there's different ways of doing this. Other, sometimes they have burners in where they're actually uh, using diesel fuel to create those temperature elevations. Of course, that would affect fuel efficiency pretty significantly.